Hello, this is Matt and welcome to Not Enough Tech. Been juggling between Google Home and Alexa on and off trying to figure out which is the well best speaker for me. And I keep changing my mind because I keep discovering new features on both uh, Alexa speaker and Google Home. And today uh, we're going to talk about more Google Home and notifications. It's called a smart, smart speaker, but, uh, well, it doesn't speak that much, to be honest, especially when you've got all the notifications and stuff like that that you have to request, and some of them aren't supported just yet. It's really annoying. So I figured out, uh, let's uh, do something about it. So I've got a short demo set up for you guys, uh, so you would know what it's, uh, what's this capable of, and uh, let's start with something very simple, like... Uh, PC notifications, because yes, you can get notifications from pretty much anywhere. And the best thing is, you don't even have to ask. So let me unmute the Alexa and ask Alexa gently to turn off my computer. Alexa, good night. Okay. So the light went off as well. PC is off. PC is offline. And the computer sleeps, as you could see the uh, Google Home announced that uh, my PC just went offline. So what else we can do? Well, obviously, when I'm going to wake up my computer, it will announce it. So let's do this again. And in a few seconds, you should hear the um, Google speaker talking. PC is online. So the computer is online as well, and let me just quickly turn on the light as well. Uh, Alexa, turn lamp on. Okay. So, I'm going to mute this lady, otherwise I'm going to say something that I shouldn't. And uh, let's uh, try with mobile notifications. So, uh, I've sent... Uh, I've got an email prepared uh, to be sent to myself, so I'm just going to send myself an email. And let's see what Google Home is going to do. So email is sent and in a few seconds it should arrive on my phone. I also disabled the screen uh, to show you that uh, this being uh, handled also when the screen is offline. So in a few seconds I should get this um, working. And there's two things I can do actually with this. Because obviously for right, the email is arriving. You have a notification from Inbox. Saying, Mato, this is awesome. Right, uh, it makes me laugh each time Google trying to pronounce my last name. So anyway, uh, of course, the first question you ask, like, how do you turn this off and how do you turn it on easily? Well, uh, it does few things you can do it. Uh, first of all, there is a short toggle, like a small toggle on my screen. So when I press this, uh, nothing's gonna like. I don't have a confirmation, but uh, it's not going to read the notifications anymore uh, because I just disabled this profile. Uh, now, in addition to that, I can route the notifications directly from uh, Google Homes. So I can just say, uh, hey, Google, tell Auto Voice to read notifications. Getting Auto Voice. Say your Auto Voice command now. Read notifications. Command sent, read notifications. And that way my mobile is going to start passing all the notifications that I've set up. Right now it's just an email. But uh, all the notifications that I'm going to receive on my mobile is going to be passed over to the uh, Google speaker so I don't have to um, look at my phone. I know I have a smart watch so it's a little bit redundant but my smart watch doesn't show stuff on the computer. And this way you can link every single thing. You can link your sensors, you can link your computer emails, notifications, some updates, custom software, you can link Raspberry Pi and everything. So uh, this is a short showcase for you just to show you what is capable. I'm pretty excited about this one because finally you can uh, make speaker talk to you when uh, it's needed most. So, and it gives you option to enable and disable a notification at will. So obviously if you have some sensitive information, you don't want that to be broadcasted out loud uh, when other members of the home uh, are around. So uh, that's how you can handle it. And uh, I'm gonna be writing the tutorial at some point. Uh, it's gonna be a length, maybe lengthy one, maybe not, we'll see how I can compress it, but it's pretty cool. It uses a Raspberry Pi as well. And, uh, well, 
just follow me on social media and you can find more information about this. As for now, thank you so much for watching guys. Um, consider subscribing because YouTube is uh, destroying monetizations on my videos and I can't do anything until I've got 10,000 subscribers. So basically I'm working for free. <laughs> this is so disappointing. So yeah, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.